You can whiten eyes and teeth with a few steps in Affinity Photo. Let me show you how. I am Yemi. Welcome to my channel. I've been following the edit from the last two videos. You can delete this black and white layer or keep it turned off for now. If you're interested, you can check out the frequency separation video and the dodge and burn video. It will, they will be in the description box. In this video, we're going to be whitening the eyes and the teeth. Basically, continuing our edit. First thing we're going to do is select an adjustment layer, HSL. In this one, we're going to be reducing the yellow from the eyes and the teeth. It will affect the entire picture, but we're going to deal with that later. So we're going to select yellow among all the colors that we have there. And we're going to reduce the saturation of the color yellow, basically by taking the slider down towards the left. As you can see, it affects the entire picture, but we're going to deal with that later. But you also notice that the teeth and the eyes look a little bit whiter as we reduce the saturation of the color yellow. We can close that now and we're going to create another adjustment layer. Click on the adjustments again and select the white balance. For this one, we're going to increase the amount of blue that's in the picture. You can see, if you know blue usually counters yellow color. So if you reduce, if you increase the blue, it kind of reduces the yellow. As you can see the eyes and the teeth are whiter again, but don't take it all the way to the left, just reduce it just a little bit. So the picture doesn't end up being too bluish. We need one more adjustment layer to complete this edit. So it would be the brightness and contrast. In this one, we're going to be increasing the brightness just a little to about 25. It's okay. It depends on the picture. Like I always say, you can increase it a little more if your picture needs it. We're going to increase the contrast to about five or less to be honest, but that's okay for this picture. And now we can close that. You can see that the eyes and the teeth are even much whiter. Now we're going to grab these three layers that we created and control G, basically grouping them. And you can re rename it to eyes and teeth whitening, just for you to remember what you're doing. Next thing we're going to be doing is to basically ensure that this applies to what we want. So we're going to control I to invert. And with that, we're going to grab our brush, the same brush we used for the dodge and burn. And we're going to go into our settings. We're going to Ensure the hardness is zero for softness. Uh, opacity reduced to about 70. Floor about 5% would be okay for this picture. And then we can start to do our painting. Basically paint the eyes with this brush. Make sure that your brush is white by the way. Because that's what we need to be using. To be, we are painting white on black now. Because we did the masking. So you just paint the eyes, paint the teeth. Make sure you get all the corners possible. Make sure that you also paint the white part of the eyes, the white part that's in the black part of the eyes for light reflections. Make that part brighter as well. And with that, you have basically whitened the eyes and it is in the picture. You can zoom out so you can see what your edit looks like. Mine looked a bit too white for me, so I went on to reduce the opacity to about 60 or thereabouts. If yours is not that white, that's okay. You can also ensure you reduce your flow too make the adjustments when you're painting but this was just okay for me reducing the opacity here was fine so with that that's your edit for the eyes and the teeth everything is brighter now you can turn it off and turn it on just to see your before and after and you know adjust opacity as needed so that's it for this i can i'm doing, going to group all my layers right now because now i'm done with my edit and i can see where i'm coming from from frequent separation up to this point of eyes and teeth whitening can check out the other videos they'll be linked in the description box that's it for me for this video for today i hope you learned something i hope you enjoy the rest of your time on youtube thank you for watching bye for now